Hello and welcome to Ready Reviews. I'm your host JT Dickens and we'll be looking at some newly released music from this past month as well as some personal recommendations that I've been listening to. Be sure to stick around to the end for the local lookout to hear about some local Arkansas music. Coming off the release of their highly successful first album, a remix album, and an EP released in December, the hyperpop duo comprised of vocalists and producers Dylan Brady and Laura Less are back once again with a brand new release. This one continues the same sound that was on 1000 Gex, but this one feels a bit more refined with no fluff. It actually takes some influence from classic pop punk like on the track Hollywood Baby and hilarious enough 2000's new metal on the track Billy Knows Jamie and features a lot more guitars than on their previous records. Of course, this album also features the signature pitched up vocals and blown out bass that the hyperpop genre is known for. So if you aren't a fan of those sounds, you're definitely not going to like this one. The goofiness the group is known for is also present throughout, like on One Million Dollars, featuring the female text-to-speech voice from TikTok, and opener Dumbest Girl Alive, which uses the THX deep note sound to open the album up in a grand fashion. If you're expecting deep lyrics throughout, you won't find that on here, but that's not a bad thing at all. Single Doritos and Fritos has Brady talking about eating burritos with Danny DeVito, going berserkus after joining the circus, and telling the listener not to look at Medusa while Les talks about trying to find something to eat in Greece, but only finding the song's namesake. However, some songs have nuggets of substance, like Closer Me Me Me, which has the pair talking about never really knowing a person truly in a relationship, and the aforementioned Dumbest Girl Alive. Overall, if you're looking for an album to get into the hyperpop genre with, or if you're looking for something that's absolutely hilarious to listen to, this is one to check out. I remember re-watching Shrek 2 a couple years ago and hearing a cover of the song Holding Out for a Hero during the end credits by this duo, composed of experimental pop singer Imogene Heap and producer Guy Sigsworth, and I decided to see what else they had to offer. To my surprise, their debut album, released on June 4, 2002, is their only album, with the only other project they've released being an EP composed of B-sides 20 years later, and a 20th anniversary of said album. And I have to say that I wish we got more out of this project. This may be one of my favorite albums of all time, and I consider it to be severely underrated. Opener Let Go, which is also featured in the movie Garden State, is most emblematic of what the sound and lyrical content is for this album. It's electronic, with an almost UK garage feel, and the lyrics have Heap talking about letting go of what you're scared of and to jump into those uncomfortable situations, even if the outcome of them is unknown. Must Be Dreaming continues the danceable tempo of Let Go, and Psycho Babble has Heap talking about breaking up with someone who is very controlling towards her. Finally, The Closer, The Dumbing Down of Love is quite possibly one of the most beautiful piano ballads my ears have had the chance to hear, with Heap's lyrics having the potential to be interpreted as her trying to write a typical song about love and not being able to, or what she believes music can do to people and their emotions. I could go on and on about this album, but I'll stop there as it's so dense with lyrical meaning and sonic detail. The bottom line is you should definitely listen to this album if my thoughts have piqued your interest in this project. It's time for the local lookout. This segment is where I'll be shouting out a release from a local Arkansas band or artist. This episode we'll be taking a look at dream pop artist Chloe Cherry out of Benton, Arkansas. With a dreary atmosphere that has elements of Beach House and Cocktoo Twins, Chloe brings complex thoughts about love on her biggest single, Devil on My Shoulder. This one is very chilled out, with the instrumental having the feeling of driving through a city on a rainy night. The vocals also sound like they're drowning as well, which could play into the lyrical content. Speaking of the lyrics, they're pretty complex as she talks about hating a former lover and then realizing that they might have more in common than she thought, which leads her to trying to figure out if she should listen to the angel or the devil on her shoulder. One fun fact about this single is that it currently has 1.5 million streams on Spotify, with it continuing to climb in numbers daily, which goes to show just how good this track is. If you're looking for something to listen to on a rainy night, or something that's different from all the rock bands that currently exist within the scene, this is one to check out. 
Currently, Chloe has released a few new singles within the past month, with hopes of releasing more in the future, along with doing more shows all across Central Arkansas. To follow everything Chloe Cherry is up to, and to see when she'll be playing a show next, you can follow her at Chloe Eats Cherries on Instagram. And that's all for this episode. If you want to stay up to date on all things HTV, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell for more content here at Henderson Television. Also, follow us on Instagram, at henderson.television, for updates on future releases. Tune in next month for more recent personal favorites and local music. I've been JT Dickens, and until next time, listen loud. Welcome back to the honorable mentions part of the video where the credits roll beside me and I list off some albums that I did not get to review this month. So, uh, here we go. Fallout Boy, So Much for Stardust, JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown, Scaring the Hose, Volume 1, Boy Genius, The Record. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Henderson Television. And also, shout out Past the Flask for this cool shirt. <laughs>